Hey everyone, my name is Paul from Fredkin and this is Fredkin on Behind the Scenes. Welcome to my devlog series in which I will show you how I create my new game, Run. If that sounds interesting to you, please click like down below and let's jump into the video. So today and yesterday I've been working on splitting up my scenes into multiple scenes so that the menu is in a different scene than the main game is and there's a splash screen actually. So yeah, that took a little bit of time to figure out. The added bonus is that I can easily add new game modes because I just can add a new scene and do everything in there I need to do for that specific game mode. And so I didn't, don't really have to mess with the other scenes and other game modes. So in the end it will help me. Let's see how it looks now. So we have this nice splash screen. Oh, it goes a little fast. I don't know why, but it doesn't matter. Uh, also, I updated the menu because uh, I was getting sick of it. Now it has a bigger run button and the shoes button is down here and the menu is wide. This is not final because I don't really like how it looks, but um, I do want to have the shoes pop up from outside the screen with and then the button also moving up. I think that's pretty cool. But I don't know actually how it's going to look yet, but this is it for now. So how I want it eventually is that if you are on this screen and you swipe horizontally, you can switch between the different game modes. Um, I was trying to do that, uh, but it didn't really work out how I wanted to. So uh, I just set it aside and going to look at it another time. If you play run, the screen goes to black. It fades in again and then you're in the game. I also added motion blur so it now looks like you're really fast. I think it's a little too heavy of an effect at this moment but um, I, I do want to uh, keep it because it adds a little, little niceness to it. This screen is also a little new. It has a restart button and a quit button. Uh, it used to have only a restart button because the menu was in inside this scene. So I just restarted the scene and then the menu was there. But now it's now because it's a different scene, I can actually restart the game itself. So when you press restart, only the race will restart, not the complete menu. And when you press quit, you go back to the main menu. It's way nicer. Uh, this is how I always wanted it to be, but because of the because everything was in one scene, I didn't really have the power to do that. So I have this weird bug where, or it doesn't, it's not really a bug, but I don't think, I'm actually not sure what's happening. So as you can see, I have motion blur in my scene. So when I move really fast, everything is blurry, except for the UI feed. The UI layer doesn't get the, the post-processing treatment the, the rest of the scene gets. But the weird thing is that if I go to the camera and go to the post-processing layer, um, both the UI and the global layer are selected. Global is the layer I created for everything in my scene. But the UI is also selected, but it's not working. But the thing is that I want every UI element also have a little bit of motion blur. So my question to you is, do you have any experience with post-processing and is UI actually supported with post-processing? I get that the most things you don't want to have on your UI, but I would be nice if I could trigger some switch to make it work. So if any of you know how I could fix this, uh, Leave it in the comments down below, it would be nice to, uh, to have this fixed. Thanks. So this has been it for this week's video. I've been trying to, to figure out how I want these videos to really look because yeah, if you, on the one hand I have the videos where I try to have every transition really smooth with the, with the, the fast turnarounds. Uh, I tried with the GoPro on my head. Now I've done the picture in picture mode that I'm uh, narrating while I'm working on the game. I've tried time lapses, uh, I've tried everything. The thing is I'm really experimenting with it and if you maybe have some way that I could improve it, uh, leave it in the comments down below. The thing is I'm trying to find a nice balance between not putting in too much work in the videos so I can work more on my game, but also have a nice video at the end. And the thing is that I do watch uh, the big YouTubers like Casey Neistat and, and Peter McKinnon who are really doing with the B-roll shots and stuff. And I do really like that, but it also takes a lot of time to do those and I could work on my game instead but on the other hand I have a better video which is more enjoyable to watch so uh, I don't really know what I what I want to do with that when I was just starting out making games and doing the the game school stuff I always wanted to have a company where we would make games but also make short videos and stuff that's maybe where the YouTube thing comes from that I want to have some sort of video outlet to maybe communicate about my games or do other stuff that don't expect any shorts or whatever in the near future because I'm definitely not working on that right now. I've always been very interested in video and, and especially vlogging because I think it's a way, really nice way to tell or show actually another person's life and, and how things work actually. And especially with 
now that I make games, not everyone can make games. It became really easy over the years, but still not a lot of people can make games. So I want to, to show people how to make games or maybe just how I make games. I want, I want to show the world of making games to more people. If you like this video, please click like down below. If you want to see more, please subscribe. If you want to be notified when I upload a new video, you can click the bell. All of the things that you saw in the in this video will be in the next beta version, 0.2. So, uh, and it should be up when this video is up as well. So links are in the description down below. Uh, you can download the beta. And then I will see you all next week. Goodbye.